What's up, everybody? How's it going? It's no secret that many software engineers want to work at Thing. Or should I say Mang, now that Facebook is officially meta. We're talking about the big tech companies here. Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple, Netflix. You can throw in Microsoft, even though technically Microsoft isn't part of Thing, but it really should be. And these software engineers want to work at Thing for good reason. These are very difficult jobs to get into. They're very high prestige because of their difficulty. You get paid a ton. You've got great perks. You get to work on products that impact billions of users. And I totally agree with all of this. I worked at two fan companies, Google and Facebook, as a software engineer. I've always said it was amazing there. But all that being said, it's also no secret that many of the people who go work at Fang end up leaving Fang after just one, two, or three years. After all, I left Google after two years and Facebook after just two months. And so it begs the question, why? If everybody wants to go to Fang, why do they leave after just a few years, if not even less? And so in this video, I'm going to share five reasons that I've identified for which this is the case. And without further ado, let's jump into reason number one. This is actually the reason that I left Google. And it is because the software engineers working at Fang realized that they could be paid a lot more elsewhere. That's another way of saying that they are currently underpaid. Now, being underpaid, first of all, is very subjective. In other words, compared to the general population or to a lot of other software engineers, you are not underpaid. You're paid very well as a software engineer thing. But sometimes you realize that compared to other people of your level at the same company or at other similar companies, you could actually be paid more. And that could be because you didn't negotiate your offer when you joined the company. Maybe you didn't know any better, or maybe you didn't have competing offers. Or it could just be that there's another company out there that is offering you more, plain and simple. And that's what happened to me when I left for Facebook. I basically got a bump of like $100,000 a year at Facebook compared to Google. At the very least, my first year with that sign-on bonus. I made videos detailing all of my compensation at those companies, so you can go check them out if you're curious. So that is one of the big reasons that people leave Fang. And I should say, sometimes they're leaving for another Fang company like I did, and sometimes they're leaving for a different company that's just paying them better. Now, the second reason that software engineers leave Fang, this is the reason that I left Facebook, and it is because they want to work on their own company. At the end of the day, many of the software engineers who work at Fang are very ambitious people. They have entrepreneurial aspirations. Either they want to launch a new company or perhaps they've been working on one as a side business for a couple of years. That's exactly what happened with me and my company, Algo Expert, and they are ready to take the leap. They've got a couple years of financial accumulation from their Fang company to kind of you know survive or to feel like they have a bit of security. They've got that resume stamp in case they need to go back to Fang or go back to the industry as a software engineer, and so they take the leap and go do their own thing. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for technical interviews to get into companies like Google and Facebook, then do check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. The third reason that software engineers leave Fang is to get promoted. That's right, promotions at Fang companies are difficult endeavors. It takes a lot of time. You have to go through a very rigorous promotion process. You can't just go to your manager and say, hey, I think I should be promoted. You know, can I get promoted tomorrow? No, it doesn't work that way. And it gets harder and harder the more senior you get. And although for the most part, it is within your control whether you get promoted and how fast you get promoted, basically it's, you know, are you good? Like, are you good at having impact? Are you a good software engineer? But sometimes it's not really in your control. For example, if you're on a project that's just bad, not a lot of growth, not a lot of other good team members, or maybe a bad manager, or the project is just getting completely cut down by the company, by the higher ups of the company, well, you can't really get promoted and it's just not your fault. And so a lot of Fang software engineers will basically go to another company to get promoted in the process of getting hired. And that way they kind of circumnavigate the entire promotion process. For example, 
you're a senior engineer at Google, an L5, and you go interview at Facebook and you get hired as an E6 or a staff software engineer. You effectively get promoted just by changing companies. Or maybe you're a staff software engineer at Google and you go join a mid-sized company as a VP of technology or maybe even as a CTO, and that is effectively a big promotion. And maybe a few years later, you'll come back to Google at a much higher level than you were when you left. The fourth reason for which software engineers leave FANG is purely and simply because they want to work on something, whether it's a product or in an industry or with a tech stack that they simply don't have access to at their current fan company. It's not necessarily that they don't like their current fan company, it's just that they like something better. For example, a lot of software engineers right now wanna work in the crypto space and they don't necessarily have projects in crypto at fang companies that they can work on. Or maybe software engineers want to become game developers, or they want to work in fintech, and so they leave their fang company just to work on these cool opportunities that they simply wouldn't otherwise have. The fifth and final reason for which software engineers leave fang, this is probably the least common one of all of them, I would say, and it's that they actually just don't like it at their fang company. And usually it's something related to not liking working at such a big company, not liking the feeling of you know, being a cog in a machine or having very little impact. And so they just decide to leave for another company, usually not another fan company, usually a startup or just a, a smaller company. And you know they don't necessarily get promoted or get a pay raise in the process. They just want something that isn't fan. Again, I would say that this is actually very uncommon. I feel like most people who work at Fang overall just really like it. And the whole, you know, being a cog in the machine isn't like the most, you know, impactful thing on their psyche, unless they're the entrepreneurial type like me, I guess, where they just want to work on their own thing. And the cog in the machine has a big impact, but it's pushing them to work on their own thing. Um, but so yeah, that's the fifth and final reason. So that's all I've got for you in this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures. And I will see you in the next video.